Okay, I'm here with Sean Goethe. Sean, welcome back to BS3. You've got a smile on your face. It must be good to be back here. Yes, it is. And, you know, even even just this morning, walking around the city, city center and everything, it was just such a warm feeling. And I, I don't know how come I'm not visiting more often because Bristol is an absolutely lovely, gorgeous place. And it's great to be back, seeing the boys. Uh, bumped into Tommy Ducks. I didn't even recognize him for a minute. Hey, he's got a little bit of hair, a little bit of stubble, but still looks like he's 12 years old. Um, yeah, seeing Skipper Gary Owens catching up with, with the boys, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm really pleased the club has, has put this on as well to, um, to honor it, but also it gives us the opportunity to catch up as well. Yeah, it's good to have you back. So you're here to celebrate 25 years of you guys winning uh, or getting promoted from the old uh, second division. Tell us a little bit about that time. It must bring back so many memories being back here today. Yes, it does. I mean, the one thing I can say is, you know, the team spirit that we had, um, the amount of, you know, fighters, and we were fighters in different ways. You, you know, people like Martin Cool, Martin Cool, would, he didn't take nonsense from anyone. Rough, tough, rugged in there. Gary Owens, brilliant skipper, um, gets you in the box, gives you those assists, also winner. Get in the dressing room, you know, you made one or two hours, they're letting you know. You know, just saying these are the standards, and and this is why we had a successful time. You know, because these were demands. Um, Brian Tinian, very consistent with his left foot, his quality. When I left, when I left here, I went to Man City. I I, I thought to myself, how is it that Brian Tinian wasn't playing at a high level? Because he was far better than the players that I had joined, and I was I was sort of thinking, can we just bring the Bristol City players here and show you guys how to play? That, that's how it was, but yeah, it was absolute quality players. Um, we had arguments, you know. A lot of people tend to think that when you're a top team or you're, you're you know, you're getting promoted, that you don't argue. You argue because you're winners. There's, you know, things that happen in training sessions. Players get kicked up. You're arguing in the dressing room, but you you have that commonality. You, you all want to win. Um, and, that, and that's what we all had in, 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 our, in our different ways. And just finally, I've got to ask you about Naki Wells, a boy from Bermuda, like yourself, on fire again this season. Yes, the, the one thing about Naki Wells, and, uh, he, knows, he knows where the goal is. And, and, and if he's gotten those, those sort of opportunities, if he's gotten two, three opportunities, you can be assured that he'll, he'll stick them away. Um, so it's just a case of, can he get the, those opportunities? Um, he's always had an eye for goal. Before... But when I was back in Bermuda coaching and I used to coach against Naki Wells, the one thing I used to write down is he knows where the goal is. So basically I used to tell my defenders, listen, he knows where the goal is, you can switch off. So hopefully he can, he can perform well today and, and play a part. You know, hopefully he can score, but if he doesn't, he's able to play a part and assist in and also defensively. Here's to another great performance and, and good luck at halftime today. Cheers, I'm looking forward to it.